Gaddafi forces on the battleground. Pro Gaddafi forces. Force pro Gaddafi. Euh... L'avancée euh, des soldats pro Gaddafi semblait inexorable. Les forces fidèles à Muammar Gaddafi. Even though the NATO war in Libya is always presented as a humanitarian intervention, the media keep on referring to the regular Libyan army as the Gaddafi troops. Similarly, the expression the Al-Assad brigades has been used to label the regular Syrian army. This ambiguous terminology was, and still is, continuously used by the media to deprive the legitimacy of the Libyan and Syrian people and their regular armies from them. Afterwards, the media, supported by notorious NGOs, spread the information that the Qaddafi forces had beefed themselves up with groups of African mercenaries. Mercenaries shooting people in the eastern city of Benghazi. It's entouring d'un corps de mercenaires payés grassement. African mercenaries. Uh, to have mercenaries brought in uh, from that state into Libya. Geneviève Garrigos, president of Amnesty International France, was invited to speak by the channel France 24 on the 22nd of February 2011, which is the following day after the alleged Libyan army attack on their civilian population. This information has been since contradicted by numerous facts and testimonies. Et d'ailleurs, nous, vendredi et samedi, on avait des informations comme quoi, dans les troupes euh, qui étaient envoyées contre ces manifestants, il y aurait eu des mercenaires étrangers, justement mmh. pour accélérer le processus de répression. Oui. Euh... Geneviève Garrigos claimed she had information regarding foreign mercenaries working on the side of the Libyan army. This claim will also be presented by the Dr. Sliman Bouchouigir in the United Nations Human Rights Council. These mercenaries seem to have carte blanche to pillage and kill uh, all civilians without distinction. Nevertheless, five months later, and after an inquiry by Donatella Rovera in Libya, the position of Geneviève Garrigos is entirely different. Geneviève Garrigos, bonjour. Vous êtes la présidente d'Amnesty France. Je voudrais vous interroger sur plusieurs sujets. Premièrement, euh, Donatella Rovera, conseillère sur la réaction aux crises chez Amnesty International, s'est rendue trois mois en Libye. Elle fait état d'emprisonnement de citoyens libyens et étrangers par le Conseil National de Transition. Ce dernier, nous les présentant comme des mercenaires. Que pouvez-vous nous dire à ce propos Bonjour. Euh, effectivement, euh, dès, dès le départ euh, de la mise en œuvre des, des, des troupes euh, en euh, anti-Kadhafi, on a eu euh, rumeur de euh, mercenaires qui agiraient euh, pour la, à la solde de Kadhafi. Or, euh, nos chercheurs qui se sont rendus sur place très tôt, hein, puisque c'est mi-février et ils en sont repartis euh, fin juin, eh bien, ont constaté que euh, dans les prisons, finalement, on ne trouvait que quelques personnes euh, qui étaient incarcérées sous, mais, et qui n'étaient même pas inculpées. Et de fait, euh, ça a surtout été des rumeurs qui ont été colportées avec des accusations vis-à-vis -vis de personnes qui soit étaient de peau foncée, voire noire, et qui pouvaient être des Libyens, parce qu'on oublie que les Libyens du Sud peuvent, ne sont pas forcément de, de type arabe, et, ou d'autre part des étrangers, ce qui a créé une espèce de, de peur, de xénophobie, et certains ont été maltraités, voire battus, bon, que certains ont été emprisonnés et aujourd'hui, euh, force est de constater qu'on n'a pas de preuves concrètes d'utilisation de forces mercenaires par, le, par Kadhafi. Oui, en effet, puisque votre, votre collègue dit également qu'elle euh, n'a pas vu du tout de mercenaires et que tout ceci est une légende colportée par les médias. Est-ce que vous confirmez cette information Absolument. Euh, le travail fait par Donatella, et, et, et c'est pour ça qu'on a envoyé des chercheurs très tôt sur place, était de voir si véritablement on retrouvait des mercenaires. Or, ce n'est pas le cas. Et elle parle notamment le, du cas d'un jeune Algérien euh, dont le patron a dû faire une attestation comme quoi il travaillait bien dans une pâtisserie alors qu'il était euh, suspecté d'être mercenaire. Et à l'heure actuelle, vraiment, nous n'avons aucune trace, nous n'avons aucun élément confirmant ces rumeurs. What was considered as information before 
is now categorized as a rumor by the same speaker. The five months period in between the two interviews enabled Amnesty International to hold an inquiry, although it is too late since the rumor has already been spread by the media with France 24 in the lead, thanks to the previous testimony of Geneviève Garrigos. D'ailleurs, nous, vendredi et samedi, on avait des informations comme quoi, dans les troupes euh, qui étaient envoyées contre ces manifestants, il y aurait eu des mercenaires étrangers. On a eu euh, rumeurs de euh, mercenaires. These rumors led to particularly dramatic outcomes. Indeed, being portrayed as being mercenaries, black Libyans were and are murdered in Libya. This documentary broadcasted on Libyan television reveals that black Libyans, forming part of the regular army, were killed with this rumor used as a justification externally. Yet, all the material goes to prove that this man was definitely Libyan. <laughs> This racial component of the Libyan war was in fact calculated and orchestrated in order to execute a geopolitical project of restructuring. It is a project imposing hatred and division amongst the Libyans and therefore fueling the distinction between light-skinned Libyans and dark-skinned Libyans. As demonstrated by the late Professor Samuel Huntington, this project intends to use the so-called dividing lines of civilizations, which are the following. Okay, name those for me. Okay, the uh, civilizations are first of all obviously the West, uh, consisting of uh, North America and Western Europe primarily, uh, Islam as a civilization, Orthodox civilization of which uh, Russia is the leading state of course, uh, Chinese or Cynic civilization, uh, Hindu civilization, in which in India is a major, the major state. And most people would, ca uh, would classify uh, Japan as a separate civilization all by itself. Uh, and then I would also add uh, Latin America and Africa. A geopolitical vision that serves the United States interests and intends to divide Africa following the plans of the U.S. State Department and Africa. But Libya is an Arabic country, as well as a Muslim state and an African country. It seems therefore absurd to encompass it according to Huntington's theory. Nonetheless, this theory is in line with the scopes of NATO and the United States for the Balkanization of Africa. From this perspective, the Pan-African projects supported and driven by Gaddafi were standing in the way of the NATO. An African Union would lead to the unification of the African countries and enable the extraction of the African continent away from colonial domination. In the same way, the satellite RASCOM project that was launched on the 21st of September 2007 enabled African independence to some extent regarding communications. The African continent will therefore only be able to resist imperialism if it unites and remains indifferent to the propaganda of imperialist media and NATO. As far as the so-called human rights NGOs are concerned, these NGOs are embedded components of the imperialist system. It is therefore necessary to question their discourses and positions since a great volume of their assertions can't be verified and sometimes are open lies in being able to talk about what a great democracy we have and how the fact that we work together is what this is all about.